Hey guys and welcome back to another Unrenging tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over a built-in feature, quite a quick and simple one, but it's one which a lot of people don't realise is a feature, and also something a lot of people don't understand as well, but it is a very useful feature, and it might also be useful for my upcoming game jam if you want to quickly transfer something from one engine to the other. So what we're going to be going over is actually migrating content from one project to another. So we're going to get straight into it. So what I want to do is I want to move all of this main menu stuff from this project into my other project. Because let's say I've already set up my main menu, but I don't want to do it all again because it's quite a lengthy process. I just want to use the exact same one so I can just simply migrate it all over and use it. So again, what I'm going to do is just show you what this main menu is just to show what I want to actually transfer over. So I'm going to open up the level and then hit play. And you can see we have this menu here. We have all the options, so audio, graphics, credits, start, all of this good stuff, which we want to actually keep here without having to recreate it again. So we're going to be doing that. Now the one thing you want to make sure is the two projects you're migrating between need to be on the exact same project version. So if you're using Unreal Engine 4.25 to migrate from, the one you're migrating to also has to be Unreal Engine 4.25, otherwise this method will not work. So you need to make sure you upgrade your projects to be on the same version and then you can migrate them. So we're going to be going over doing this now. So what we're going to do is we need to make sure that we select everything that we want to migrate over. So again, for me, I want to do everything in the main menu, and I'm also going to do the level as well. However, we can't just do the folders, we have to actually select the individual items. So I'm going to open up my main menu folder, select everything in here by selecting the first one, holding down left shift and selecting the last one. So now I have all of my main menu stuff selected. I'm going to right click on one of these, and now we have this options menu here. We're going to go to asset actions and then hit migrate because again we're going to migrate or copy all of the selected assets and the dependencies to another project. So let's hit that migrate button here and you can see we have this folder come up here. So now it has already got everything selected here which we obviously don't want. So we're going to make sure that we only have ticked what we want to copy over. So I'm going to untick loading screen folder and that's automatically got none of that. I want the main menu stuff. I don't want the mannequin so I'm going to untick that. And again that's already got all of this so what I'm also going to do is close the folder so I can easily see what I don't have. I don't want the saves and I don't want anything from the third person character either. So now all we have is we've got the main menu stuff selected as that is what we want to migrate over. So again, only select what you want to migrate. So again, for me, that is everything for the main menu. Then we're going to press OK. Now what you can see is this has now opened up my folder and this is just the folder for where I have this project saved. So you can see it is in my UE4 projects main menu content because this project is called main menu and it's in the content folder of that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to find our other project which we want to migrate to. So for me I'm going to go into my UE4 projects folder as that's where I have all of my different projects saved. And then I want to migrate this to my replication project. Just as a simple example you can choose any project you want again making sure they are on the same engine version. So for me that's replication so I'm going to open that up and then we want to open up content and select that folder. You have to migrate it into the content folder, it can't be any other folder in here, so just bear that in mind as well. Make sure you select the content folder, you can see it's copying files, content migration completed successfully. So now let's open up our other project, here's replication and you can see we have our main menu stuff in here. This is everything we have in the main menu already put in here. So I'm going to open up these different widgets, I don't have it set up yet in here for it to actually be used, but we have everything in here which we want. So let's open up these and have a look at them. So you can see we have the audio, the options, and the main menu here as well. And obviously, again, I haven't got it set up, so we haven't got the create widget or anything in here just yet, because again, we've migrated over, but we haven't got it set up because this here was using a save game, which I didn't migrate over. So we can just delete that because again, I don't have the save game compile and that's that fix that. The options again, we also have author code in here set up already to actually be saving and doing all of this good stuff as well. So again, we've got all of the stuff migrated over with the code inside, with the visual stuff, everything which we wanted to take over. So if I open up my main menu project again, which is this one here, what we're going to do is we also want to move over the level. Now it's just an empty level, which we can do as well, but I'm just going to show you this example one final time again. So let's open up the levels folder, right click on our main menu level, asset actions, migrate, select the only thing we want which again for me is the main menu level there. Deselect everything else and there we go. So you can see if we did it from in here we got the option for the levels main menu level there as well 
but we didn't get last time, so we can now migrate that. Okay, again, choose the same place, which for me is the replication in the content folder, select folder, and it's now migrated over. So you can see we now also have this levels folder with the main menu level in here as well. So I think that'll be it for the video. So we've done everything we want to do. We've simply migrated stuff from one project to another. Again, making sure that the projects are on the same project version and the same Unreal Engine version. And we are migrating to the content folder, nothing else. And we've migrated different widgets, different blueprints, levels, sound effects, all this good stuff, which we wanted to. It all works. You can migrate anything which you want. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.